Well, at least you ain't run off. Come over to the other side of camp, have you? Cross the Great Divide. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. Oh, the really? traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack. And the women free. Well, then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score. We got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. That's always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know. This is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, I ain't got much to lose, but you got to do what's right and cut some loose. John and his family, I, I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we got to let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you... Think it's best. I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of Saint Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah, I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. <clears throat> We 
should hurry or we're gonna miss this train. Got it. All right, let's get this done. You think this is gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> I've messed huh? in the oil factory. I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well. Damn. Let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. But first, we got one last train, John. One last train. a river boat <clears throat> we'll head up to new york or chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics so long as it isn't guarma oh it'll be paradise son it's all coming together dutch just like we planned is that okay with you john arthur or do you insist on something different sounds about as good now as every time i heard it before Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fella. Hmm, <laughs> nice and easy through town. Who knows, I might end up needing a rifle. <clears throat> ah, San Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Maka? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Not much further now. Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well... Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this! Of course we are! <laughs> Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on the... Alright, let's go. <clears throat> That's right! Oh, 
Shotgun instead of my sniper. No harm done. You okay? Yeah. Money's in the front camp. We gotta put Oh, I tried. That didn't work out. <laughs> okay, let's give that one more shot. Can he really not push up past this guy? I'm gonna blow your head off. Right. guy dead? Nice. Oh, hi there. Oh! 
Oh, fantastic. Over top. What? Well, all I heard was jump. I didn't see that. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of those things where I was going to jump off and there'd be a cutscene. Okay. Get through the smoke! Come on, jump! Let's go! Get going, Bill! Why can't I pull out a gun? Get back on, jump! Huh? One cup of that gas before it blows us all up! Morning! Oh my god. Oh, John. Oh, he's just fucking off Whatever bullshit. Whatever you do, do not stop the train. You secure up ahead, but keep us moving. I'll deal with that patrol when they come through. Shit! We got a lot of riders on our tail, Arthur! I see him. Watch your back! Damn it. Are you sure you can handle that gun? Because I can't take over its wall. Just shut the hell up! Hey! We all got to work together on this! Look left! Look out on the raft! Oh. How the hell did I get sailed with you, little lady? Watch your goddamn mouth! Look out on the left! Look out on the right! Oh wow, he got fucked up. Will you shoot him for cross sakes? What the hell do you think I'm doing? Listen! I don't take orders from you! We need to go for the money. Come on! The money should be in the front carriage. Okay, quick. Let's blow a hole. Let's go! The money's in there. Right. This is better. Blow this thing. Oh, okay. Oh my god, you're starting really close. We got something. We got something! Catch! Yeah! Wait, there's more! Morgan! The driver's dead! This thing ain't stopping! We got to get off! Okay then! Let's go! Shit.
Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up. That's some bullshit. He's gonna go looking for John, isn't he? Cause he just turned away like that with me once and then he did at the bank already with John and Sandini. Like, that's cap. I mean obviously there's the whole first game. gotta let her go John's uh, well sorry son without John she's just bait got a bunch of money Dutch she's just a girl they won't do nothing to her but me and the boys know yep. we need to keep riding on this one Dutch you know it every man here knows so we it. just gonna let the boy be made an orphan it, it ain't like that what is it like I wanna live cowpoke I still got the choice Dutch it's just a girl you're right. That's uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Touch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. Just get out of here and go live your life. This is done. All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Nah, nah, don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me. Damn. All right, let's go. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. gonna be all right. We're gonna get Abigail out. Of course we are. Because we don't leave our own behind. That's what Dutch taught us. Well, seems his mind got changed on that idea. I remember one time, years ago, he let fly at me for robbing this house. Saying, that man was too poor. How taken from him was no different from the system we was fighting against. Now, he don't care who dies, so long as he and Micah get rich off of it. Micah is a goddamn sickness. But, John said, Abigail knows where the money's hidden. If we can get to her in time, we might be able to get to it before they do. <laughs> Let's just get her out first. Say, Mac. Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. Now, John, we have to put an end to this. <laughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry young fool he used 
Just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. <laughs> What's left of it. Now come on! Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Because you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get. All righty. The highest we can get. Yep. Alrighty. It's supposed to go up for the. Oh wait, can I go in here? Nice. Is she gonna move? Do I just fire right now? Alright, let's go.
Oh, bruh. Okay, Mr. Milton. Why don't you just open fire? I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Oh, Jesus. All I have is my regular ass repeater. Okay. Shooting. There we go. There we go. See, you're dead Hop out. Now. Yep, I'm dead now. Let me chill. I just gotta eat before I go in. <laughs> oh, did it not eat? There we go. <clears throat> Alrighty, well. be dead sure but I'm gonna be just fine we offered you a deal mr. Morgan you should have taken it I'm a fool mr. Milton not all you boys have quite so many scruples old Micah Bell Micah. you mean Molly Molly O'Shea sweated her a couple of times never talked a word had to let her go Micah Bell we picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. Oh. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Miller. Oh. Horrible man. <laughs> so Mike is setting Dutch up. Now come on, both of you. Jack, where is he? He's fine. Billy's got him. Oh, 
Thank God. <laughs> Abigail. Oh you my God! Get on. Get on, Arthur. Get on. Oh, so I can only have my sidearms now. Great. Oh, only one at a time at that. You'll be okay. I guess I need a pistol. I, and I don't have them. You all right, Abigail? I think so. Shit, more on the right. God, shoot. It's not shooting when I'm pulling the trigger. to John. Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> I gotta go settle some things. For me. No one else. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur... Take this. I don't need it anymore. Who's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Damn. <laughs> The many miles we walk 
Where am I riding to? Am I just following this path? The building of a shrine. Only just to burn. That's the way That's the way We are not criminals. We are outlaws. I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. something I cared about. You have turned into my son. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. My pa used to say you stare into the fire long enough, you can see the whole world pass by. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Lung, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. You! I didn't have a choice. Slapped me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> Oh my god, and you haven't shot him yet? Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. 
He's lying. Put your guns down. God damn it. Move. You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down. This is Anger. Oh, my God. And I have my hunting guns on me. Stay with me, Arthur! Those bastards left me for dead! Seems that's what they do now! I see them! Over here! Let's keep moving! Take a breath while you can! Hey, they're just up ahead! Michael was the rat, John! Milton told me! <laughs> we should have killed him months ago! Keep going! Hey! Hold it right there! <laughs> are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. Stop where you are. I want them out of there now. Get for a rock. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Say follow you and yeah. then you stop. Oh, I didn't realize that was going off. Some shit. Oh, now suddenly I have a pistol, but I don't even keep on me. Oh, wait, my saddle's right here. Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a sec. Come on. Push, Arthur. Thank you. 
Arthur! Damn, bro. Come on, Arthur. Yeah, let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but... <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit. If it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Uh. Oh shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground! Don't worry about them! They'll just be going back for the money! We need to get the hell out of here! This is all I got, yep. Hey, I got a sword. Get up this cliff. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Oh. Get behind a rock. God damn it. They're everywhere. Uh. Get out. Come on, shoot. There we go. Finish this. We need to All right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. Here. Just take it. It ain't no use to me now. Ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. God damn you bastards! Oh, I can't go any further up. Shoot that top off, boy. Oh, great. I got you now, Black Lung. Rat, you rat. I'm a survivor, Black Lung. A survivor. That's all there is. Living and dying. Oh. 
Marston too. Damn. Just take the pistol off his goddamn waist and shoot him already. ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. Uh. I am not Despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I've won. You're kidding, Dutch. It is over. Now. What? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. No. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! Wow. You're not better than me, Morgan. Whatever you say, you fool. Damn you. Damn us both!
Saw that coming. As if Dutch wouldn't at least kill Micah. What the fuck, yo? trouble on ourselves by we you mean me the one me who went and shot him seemed like he deserved shoot i'm sure he did but i've been thinking ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions i'm trying are you i think so i gotta find some place to lay low keep quiet <sighs> maybe dutch was right maybe we should just go on to tahiti is that it with you tahiti or killing Come on, John, please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hardworking men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence mm -hmm. on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother with your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. It's strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. <laughs> Been a long wow. time. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or... Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. Mm -hmm. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Miss Rachel got set upon outside the saloon. Poor thing's face all black and blue. Oh, this country. Need to get back to it. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh... I ain't too proud to do nothing. 
As long as it's honest, and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I, and our boy. We was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Well, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Oh, I can't get back on the... Oh, right, yeah, they have to load it. You're working too hard. You're making me look bad. Hey, watch it. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Damn. West past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Okay. Gotta find this house. They said it was Gettys or whatever.
This must be it. Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife losing business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? <laughs> it's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> you come back here. You can use that horse. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. All righty. Hey! Hey! That's my damn wagon. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, well, let's try this again. I already tried to jump on one. Oh, they have no clue where they're going. Woo! Come on, get out beside it. Here they are. I need the wet shit. Isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, She'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But... We'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Hmm. 